Behind us is the tower for WNPD Television and WVPM Radio, West Virginia Public Broadcasting in the northern West Morgantown area. The FCC has mandated that we clear spectrum for broadband data services. Part of that is we have to move to another frequency to make this clearing possible. So on the top of this tower is a 5,000 pound antenna that will be taken off, lowered to the ground, and another one will be raised up and set in its place. What this means to you, first of all, you're going to have more signal. We took advantage of this time and we maximized our signal. We currently are at 166,000 watts. We have now maximized, we'll be radiating 660. Plus, we've added another 60 kilowatts in the vertical plane. Much better coverage, and it's setting the stage for the new data services that will be incorporated into all broadcast services in the next three to five years. The whole reason for doing this is to move to a new television standard. Uh, in the old days, we had analog television, and the televisions made from the 1950s all the way up to almost 2000. Were, were compatible with everything that was broadcast. In 2000, they went to a digital technology. Everyone had to move over to a new digital platform. The new technology is based on two things. One, IP protocol, meaning that it speaks the same language as your computer and your router and your cell phone. And the other thing is the actual modulation and, and encoder technique. We're going to use the type of, of encoding and decoding you would use for uh, location for submarines, for echo location, and things like that. For you folks that have been having trouble picking us up, where it's about that far above the noise and you get it and then it goes away and then it rains and it comes back, we're adding a lot of power. This should make a solid signal in most of our viewing area. If you're down in one of the deep hollows, you'll still have some issues, but it should be much, much better for everyone else. This is our first transmitter being moved to the new service. And it's because it is one of the more expensive ones. Uh, the next two are Huntington and Beckley. The minute we finish that, there are eight translators and they get rebuilt to the same standard. And then we'll have the whole network rebuilt, all new gear, and then we sit and wait for the transition to the new protocol. I feel like I'm launching a ship without knowing really where it's going but I have to make sure that that ship will hold water and that it's got life jackets and that the crew is on it and all of that. And then once it sails out, then, then the future will decide what television looks like.